Fatima is six years old. She lives in Gashbarka, Eritrea. She has arrived at the age where her tribe is preparing to welcome her through a rite of passage. She is terrified of what will happen. The natives of Gashbarka are mainly of the Kunama and Nara ethnic groups. Their histories trace back over 4,000 years, and they have cultivated proud and vibrant cultures. But age-old beliefs reinforced by social norms have embedded a cultural practice of female genital mutilation, also known as FGM. In the outskirts of Barantu, we find the Kunama village of Jambukur, where Fatima lives. Today, she is the center of attention as her community prepares to celebrate her circumcision. In the tradition of the Kunama, if Fatima does not pass through this rite, she will be considered unclean and face rejection in her village. She will not be able to get married, and when she dies, she will not be allowed to be buried with her ancestors. Her close relatives will not even be allowed to mourn her upon her passing. Eritrea outlawed FGM in 2007, and prevalence rates for the practice have decreased over time. According to the Eritrean Population and Health Survey, in 1995, 95% of all women aged 15 to 49 had experienced female genital mutilation. In 2010, the rate had fallen to 83%. Minister Dana, Ayon Sabaud Hanatin, Hamad E, Bahabar Ndamarahana, Abulu Sigab Tiz Hate Aditat, Dereja, Komite Oimu Kasar Gamzalo, Yuzig Berzalo. The UN, in particular the UNFPA and UNICEF, is working closely with the government to fight FGM through using a social norms change approach. Engaging elders and community leaders to collectively confront the practice is the most effective and sustainable way to eliminate it. Already, some women elders who were personally involved in the practice have stopped and become pioneers in advocacy against FGM. <laughs> Youth have also taken up the charge against FGM, as we see here in a debate they conducted for the national media. <laughs> Every year on February 6th, Eritrea reinforces its position of zero tolerance for female genital mutilation. Religious leaders, village elders, women, children, and regional and sub-regional administrators unite to unanimously condemn FGM. <laughs> With their concerted efforts and collective commitment, Eritrea looks forward to ending the practice of female genital mutilation forever. I mean, no, no. Why should I go? Huh? I mean, no. I mean, no.